All right, welcome everyone. My name is Michael Galata. I have two restaurants in New Orleans. One is called Mofo, one is called Maypop. New Orleans has this amazing ability where it assimilates all of its cultures. Well, the Vietnamese culture, there are so many parallels between Southeast Asia and Southeast Louisiana. There's an awesome bakery, and they do these amazing bao, just filled with this delicious barbecued pork. I love making boudin, I love eating boudin. So one day, we're tooling around, and I just one into the other, dropped it in the steamer, and it was amazing. We're gonna use this awesome little Vulcan system over here, but uh, obviously boudin starts with the New Orleans trinity of onions, garlic, peppers, celery. We kind of throw in lemongrass, we're gonna throw in ginger, and we're gonna finish it with fish sauce. Just gonna give these peppers a quick chop. I've already got my onions cut. We're gonna start getting that caramelizing first. I'm gonna go right in with my bacon. Tate is a, is a Thai chili paste. Gives you a real clean heat. All right, onions. So I always want to get my onions and my peppers first. Onions and, and uh, peppers have the highest amount of sugar. And so every one of those is going to develop its own caramel, right? I'm going to come in with gizzards and hearts to just run through the grinder so they still have a lot of texture to them. I want all that bond. All that bond is super important and then we'll go in with our rice. I'm gonna slice some ginger and throw it in, and I'm gonna break up some lemongrass as well and throw it in there. So from here, I've got really good fond. This is where the flavor happens. Cool. So when I braise my pork, I save all the, the belly scraps, the belly trim, all those really gelatinous pieces. This is the reserved braising liquid from the pork shoulder, or all the pork bits. I kept all the fat, so now I want to pull that fond up. And while this cooks, we're going to go over and we're going to make the bao buns, the dough. So cornstarch, flour, a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of shortening, making a well in the middle, just old school dough making. Room temperature milk with yeast added to it. I am going to whip the livers in the Vitamix, basically make a liver milkshake. And then we're going to fold that in uh, at the very end of the cooking process so it just creams it out. I want a dough that almost feels like Play-Doh. That's the perfect dough. It should just hold its shape. It should be firm, but it shouldn't stick to your hands. I'm gonna throw my livers into the VitaPrep. I'm a, I'm a big fan of liver smoothies. Just a whole big liver shake here. So here's our boudin. If y'all wanna come up and taste this boudin real quick. Throw those edges down a bit. Pepper jack cheese, come in with the cutter, just like that. Up into the hand. Everyone here is gonna help me roll the bow and then we'll steam them, cool? Here's our bow dough. If you wanna, they almost double in size when they steam. Thank you all everyone, I appreciate it. I think y'all did a really great job. I think you actually did better than me. Come see me in New Orleans.